Brisbane-based soldiers were greeted with cheers when they finally arrived home from Iraq in the early hours of this morning. An overwhelming moment, joy mixed with relief after months of worry. So good to see you, Mike. Great to have you home. It's the right time to bring our troops home. Indeed, the time to bring them home has passed. We must learn from Australia's experience in the lead-up to going to war with Iraq and not repeat the same mistakes in the future. Emergency crews and volunteers in Perth have been working through the night to repair homes damaged by yesterday's tornado. Our roof is coming off. What you're seeing here is amazing home video of the tornado's fury. Shoalwater resident Cara Lauder grabbed her video camera and captured the moment her neighbour's roof spiralled through the air. Roar, thunder, and uh, yeah, I thought a bomb going off. I thought it was back in Belfast. Yeah, it was just probably one of the scariest experiences of our lives, though. After three and a half hours of hearings, the 14 members of the Australian Olympic Committee's executive announced that Nicholas Darcy's membership of the 2008 Australian Olympic team be terminated. This resolution was passed unanimously. Obviously, I'm very disappointed by today's decision. Um, I can't say it was a surprising decision. However, I am lodging an appeal. It's already been put in the works. Darcy promised the AOC he'd steer clear of alcohol, but it wasn't enough to convince them to keep him on the national team. The Dalai Lama has been met by protesters after arriving in Sydney for a series of lectures. The exiled spiritual leader called on his supporters to respect the torch relay and the Beijing Games. Over a billion Chinese brothers and sisters really feel proud of it. We must respect that. Sunrise returns tomorrow from 6 a.m. Monday on Sydney's Sunrise, the couple who had sex for 101 days straight. Jeez, and totally unrelated, we've got the best way to beat Save Your Life. Sunrise on Monday. <laughs>